Polycythemia is a health condition characterized by excessive, abnormal red blood cells. Abnormal RBCs have decreased oxygen-carrying capacity that results in poor gas exchange. Individuals may be diagnosed with primary polycythemia or secondary polycythemia. Secondary polycythemia is caused by other medical conditions that cause chronically low oxygen levels such as COPD. Primary polycythemia, also called polycythemia vera, is a type of bone marrow cancer that causes the production of too many red blood cells as well as white blood cells and platelets that may also be abnormal. As a result, the individual is also at increased risk of infection and bleeding problems. The thickening of the blood, called hyperviscosity, slows blood flow in vessels, heightening the risk for clotting that can cause DVTs, heart attacks, or strokes. Symptoms of polycythemia vera can occur across body systems, including dyspnea, fatigue, headaches, pulsatile tinnitus, night sweats, confusion, visual disturbances, chest pain, itching, bruising, and erythromyalgia, which means burning pain or redness in the hands or feet. Diagnostic testing begins with a complete blood count that shows elevated levels of red blood cells. If polycythemia vera is present, there are also elevated levels of white blood cells and platelets. Further tests to confirm polycythemia vera include detecting the JAK2V617F mutation and possibly a bone marrow biopsy. Treatment focuses on managing the overproduction of blood cells and preventing clot-related complications. Therapeutic phlebotomy with plasmapheresis, low-dose aspirin, cytoreductive therapy, JAK2 inhibitors, and anticoagulants are common interventions. Nurses help clients manage their symptoms of dyspnea and fatigue by closely monitoring oxygen saturation levels and administering oxygen therapy, as prescribed, as well as teaching about energy conservation techniques. They play a crucial role in preventing thrombosis by encouraging hydration, administering prescribed medications, and promoting mobility. They also educate clients on the condition and its management, including when to notify the healthcare provider to prevent life-threatening complications. The goals of treatment revolve around managing adequate oxygenation, preventing blood clots and excessive bleeding, and preventing infection. Nurses evaluate if these outcomes are being met and revise care plans as necessary.